In this video, I'm going to have a look at updating the Dell UFI BIOS for 2016 models or newer. So there are two ways to update the Dell UFI BIOS. One is to use the Linux Firmware Update Manager and the other is to use a USB flash drive. So if you power up your Dell and press F12, you should see the option BIOS Flash Update within the boot menu. And if you've got this option, you'll be able to update your UFI BIOS using a USB flash drive. If you don't have this option, then your system is too old for this feature. So the next method is the firmware update manager. So the firmware update manager is command line based and in order to launch it, you need to launch the terminal. And what you're going to type in is FWUPDMGR, so shorthand for Firmware Update Manager. And when you type this, you'll get a list of commands that you can type in. So there are three commands that I'm going to have a look at. The first one is get devices. So this command will just list the devices that have firmware that can be updated. So we see that we've got the solid state drive and it's got its device ID. We've got the system firmware, which is the UFI BIOS, and then we've got the TPM. If you've got a laptop system that's plugged into a Thunderbolt dock, then this should also be listed as well. So the next command we're going to have a look at is get updates. And this is going to look to the Linux vendor service to see if there's any updates available. So in this case, there's nothing for the solid state drive, but there is a new UFI BIOS version. So I'm going to go ahead and install this now. So in order to do this, I need to use the command update. And if you don't specify a device ID, then it will update everything available. So I'll need to press Y in order to proceed with the update. And then I'll need to press Y again to restart the computer. So it's going to go ahead and update the UFI BIOS now. And as usual, you shouldn't power down your computer during a UFI BIOS update because it's got the potential to break your system. Unfortunately, not all devices are added to the Linux vendor service yet. So we'll look at the other option, which is to perform the UFI BIOS update from a USB flash drive. So in order to do this, we're going to go to the Dell website and we're going to select support and then type in our model number, which is an Optiplex 7040. And we're going to go to drivers and downloads and then select BIOS. And then we're going to download the UFI BIOS update and save the file. So the UFI BIOS update is now within the downloads folder. And what I want to do is make a FAT32 formatted USB flash drive and just copy the BIOS update to it. So in order to do this, I'm going to install some software. So I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to type in sudo which stands for super user do, and then apt, which is advanced package tool, and then get update. So this will check that the advanced package tool is updated. And because I typed in super user do, I'll need to authenticate this action. So I'll need to input my password. Once the advanced package tool is updated, I'll need to go ahead and install gparted. And now that Gparted is installed, I can launch it from all applications. And Gparted runs as a super user, so we need to authenticate its launch. Okay, so now that Gparted is launched, to the top right, you want to select your USB flash drive. And then you want to right click the partition here and make sure that you don't have anything mounted. And then what we want to do is basically 
format the USB flash drive. So the first thing we're going to do is create a partition table and set it to GPT. So this will obviously erase all data. So don't do this on a USB flash drive, which has important data. Once you've done this, you want to create a new partition and you want to make sure that the file system is FAT32. So it's recognized within the UFI BIOS setup. And we can just label this as BIOS update. And then once we've done this, just apply the changes and then select apply. Okay, so now that these changes have been carried out, what we can do is just close Gparted. And then we want to just remove the USB flash drive and reinsert it. So when we do this, it should just show up under files and we can just copy the UFI BIOS update to it. Now that the UFI BIOS update is on the USB flash drive, we can just power off the computer and then power it up and press F12 to get to the UFI BIOS boot menu. And from the Dell UFI BIOS boot menu, press the down arrow key until you get to BIOS flash update and then press enter and then to the top right select the browse button so your usb flash drive in most cases should be as file system zero now you can scroll through and select other file systems if you've got more devices connected to your computer okay so select your ufi bias flash update now if it's compatible you'll be able to press begin flash update and then you'll be allowed to select yes to proceed and the Dell UFI BIOS update will then proceed. And after the Dell UFI BIOS update has proceeded, you'll then log into Ubuntu as normal.